Steve Green Ushlag Spalcha. Hello and welcome. It's Misha Amy the Crafty Kylock, and this is day seven of the 12 Days of Yule Tube series. And today I'm going to be talking about the mummering tradition in Ireland. The mummers or mummering is an Irish Yuletide tradition that sees groups of people go around dressed in costumes, going from place to place, performing plays, music, dance. And although the origins of the tradition are somewhat unclear, and it's thought that the practice has roots in pre-Christian Yuletide or seasonal winter activities that would have been adopted later by Christianity. Whatever the origins of the practice, mummering is something that continues on to this day in Ireland. It's very much one of our living traditions and it has been gaining popularity in recent years. In the past, mummers were typically groups of men that would go from house to house throughout the holiday season in the weeks leading up to Christmas and they would perform plays and songs. Sometimes the plays had a moral message or were based on folklore and mythology stories. They would dress up as different characters to perform these plays and in exchange, people that were their audience would give them food, drink and generally a few bob. The costumes that are worn can include masks, hats and other random pieces of clothes. It's also not uncommon for mummers to incorporate straw or some kind of straw or hay in their costume as well. In more traditional or rural and historical examples of mummer costumes that we have, it's often a straw conical hat, though this type of mask or hat is seen in various other traditions as well. In some traditions or regions, mummers have traditional costumes, folk costumes or national native dress. While in other regions, traditions or even just groups, they will have costumes that are a bit more theatrical, looking like specific characters or figures that are in the play that they are performing. The costumes may also incorporate some kind of props as well, like swords or musical instruments or other objects. So there are examples on Dukas.ie in our National Folklore Collection describing and reiterating full mummer plays and skits. There is one recorded which I will link below called The Song of the Christmas Mummers and it's about a play that depicts various different very famous historical figures such as Oliver Cromwell and Brian Brew. While the content of the mummers antics be it a play or Irish traditional music and dance changed from region to region and from group to group there were specifics that tended to be the same across the board. A group of about 10 or so or 12 or so people would meet up and go from place to place dressed up singing songs and saying rhymes and doing plays and those people were called mummers. Now I did also find a record in Castle Finn in County Donegal on the National Folklore Collection which said that they were also called moonlighters. In that entry in Donegal as well it did say that mummering was unlawful and that the groups of mummers would have to go and get special permission or a special license or okay it basically with the guards before they went about their merriment. Everyone in the community knew that when the mummers started going around, Christmas was coming and it was getting into that festive merry period. I found a lot of different examples of rhymes and little songs that the mummers would do and some of them started like this. Room, room ye gallant boys, give us room to rhyme. And we'll show you some activity around the Christmas time. If you don't believe me what I say, enter Jack Straw and he'll show you the way. And then Jack Straw would come in and say his piece. And this would generally be how the play or skit or performance would start and then different characters would come in. So you might have Jack Straw, you might have Santa Claus, you may have the Divil or Oliver Cromwell, Brian Brew and sometimes political figures that would have been topical as well. As I mentioned before, as they were going from house to house or place to place, they would be given food and drink and sometimes a couple of quid just to pay them for their performance and kind of tip them kind of like buskers. There are records as well talking about how the mummers would collect all of this money for the weeks leading up to Christmas as they were going around playing and singing and dancing and then they would have a huge community party called a mummers ball at the end of the festive period. In modern times and recent years specifically there has been a bit of a resurgence in the mummer tradition. In particular during lockdown in County Leitrim the modern day mummers are a group that was started 
during 2020 during the lockdown to try and bring a bit of festive and socially distanced spirit back to the community. The tradition has been getting stronger and stronger over the last few years, particularly with us being able to share on social media and spread the tradition and encourage others to do the same. There are lots of different resources for getting in contact with a local mummers group. I'll put some links and some tips down in the description below if you're interested. And if you don't have a local mummers group that you can get in contact with, maybe think about contacting your own local heritage office or center and seeing if you can maybe start the tradition or start a group yourself. So Shin Shin, that's that on Mummers. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting. Let me know in the comments what you thought and let me know as well if you've come across any Mummers in your local area or if you've ever gone Mummering yourself. Thank you very much for coming. I will see you soon.